Hey y'all. As I'm sitting here at this very moment, it's such a beautiful day. It's such a beautiful day out here. I even moved my vehicle so that I can <laughs> get some shade because I've been out in the sun for over an hour. And I've been watching some videos. I've been locked in on watching one particular YouTuber named Dodash on here on YouTube. And she has blown up. And I'm just like, this is nothing but God. Like, blown up in the past month. Maybe even shorter than that. It's been some weeks for her. And the crazy part is that I've been seeing her uh, thumbnails in my posts. Well, not in my posts, I'm sorry. I've been seeing her thumbnails in my um, feed on YouTube. And I'm like, Dodash. Okay, like, I didn't even know <laughs> what she was really doing at all until something just told me, just click on the video because... I think it was when she was talking about the um, never working a nine to five again. And I'm just like listening and steady watching different videos and saying to myself and out loud to myself, girl, I feel you. I feel you working these jobs. And not feeling appreciated a lot of the times I'm not saying every single time but not feeling appreciated not getting paid what you think you should get paid or what you think you're worth working years for somebody else somebody else's business not even our own business like I'm not working for my own business. I'm working for somebody else's business. And at the end of the day, all they think about us is we're just a number. We're just a spot in the seat. We're just a number. It's insane. I've been working on YouTube for a while now. I believe I posted my first video like 10 years ago. And I've always had an issue with being inconsistent. I would stop. And a lot of times I stopped because I felt like at that very moment, I wasn't good enough. I failed. But the only one good thing about all of this, of me being inconsistent, is that I've always kept going. At some point in time, I will pick myself back up. Because any time that I have been through things, like personally in my life, I shut down. I shut down all my social medias. I don't wanna hear from nobody. I just shut all the way down. And I know I can't do that if I want to be successful here on YouTube. Like, how can you continue to stop blocking blessings? Don't know what the Lord has in store for you if you don't keep grinding. And faith without work is dead. I can have all the faith in the world. But if I'm not putting in that work, I won't ever see like what faith, what having faith can do for me. If I just believe, you know, believe in myself, believe in God, believe in my work and all of that. But yeah, so
I'm just sitting here because after a while I gotta go pick up my nephew from school and I'm just like I've been consuming a lot of videos a lot of her videos a lot of other people's videos a lot of self-motivation videos a lot of um working on YouTube like working on my videos type of videos like getting tips of how to continue to grow my channel and all that stuff and I know for sure consistency is definitely key but over top of the consistency you have to be disciplined and I had to learn that like I wasn't even thinking about discipline for real the only time that I really thought about discipline is working out but for sure, with my channel, I have to be disciplined. No matter what, post the video. No matter what I'm going through, post the video. Because I don't know who that video is going to touch. How many people that video is going to reach. How much money I could make if I don't post. So I've been doing a series. And it's called... <coughs> excuse me. It's originally called... Because I love talking about fragrances. <coughs> Excuse me. As I put this video... As I'm going to put this video out today. I don't know who this video is going to reach. So, I need to introduce myself. <laughs> My name is Sharon. I'm a content creator. Here on YouTube. My main channel is Miss Natural Shay. That's where I am monetized. I do have two other channels, but I'm not monetized over there yet. So I'm focused, really focused on this channel that's monetized so that I can continuously make money. For one, continuously, well, I'm saying for one only because it's monetized, but continuously show up for my loyal supporters I have some very loyal supporters no matter what I put out no matter if I've been um, gone for a while they still show up for me and I love that they know how much I love them hey y'all um but I need to show up for myself I need to prove to myself that I can do this because, of course, God knows that I can do this. It's just something where anytime that something's going on in my life, I will shut down. When we had um, a coronavirus, I shut completely down. I didn't post no videos. I was watching videos, people's videos, but I didn't post any videos. I was scared to go outside. I was scared and, and I had to go outside to get to my job. I had to take my nephew to daycare. Um, it was a scary time for a lot of us. Like, I knew I wasn't alone, but I didn't think about, oh, I should continue posting videos. I never thought about that. All I could think about was, oh my gosh, I don't want to get sick. I don't want my nephew to get sick. I don't want either one of us to die, my family to die. All I could worry about was family, friends, me and him at the house. It just was not good and I know I'm not the only one that shut down but I know that that blocked a blessing for me for me not showing up for myself for my loyal subscribers but fast forward we are four years past when corona first started and I feel like I've been stuck in the same place, like the same, the same, just making a, a little, a little bit of coins, not saying that I'm not grateful for any, uh, uh, not that I'm not grateful for my coins because I definitely am, but I'm just saying like, even though I'm growing, I'm growing like centimeters, 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 centimeters. That's what I'm going to say. <laughs> but I know 
that God has more in store for me here on my channel. I just know that I need to put in the work and that's what I'm gonna do. I love to talk. I talk another hole in your head. It's like when I'm passionate about something, I just talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. But I wanna say to you, whoever is watching this video, that you can do it, I can do it, we can do it, no matter what. If we put our mind to something, we can do it. Of course, with God's help, we can do it. And I just know that if, as long as I'm putting in the work, because like I said, I have um, a series which is um i title it the best uh the best fragrance layering combo day one day two day three day four day five day six day seven day eight i started it on september september 30th and today is actually september october the 8th and today will be day number nine i haven't filmed my video yet and that's okay let me look at the time oh i'm good I haven't filmed my video yet. Oh, goodness. <laughs> that was almost an accident. People are just so, like, in a hurry to go nowhere. And we're in a parking lot. But anyway. Um. <laughs> I'm up here paying attention to my surroundings. Because I'm by myself at this current moment. And people just walk, walk right past your car from the other side of the road and whatever. So I gotta have my head on the swivel, looking around, looking in my rear view mirror. <laughs> side mirrors, I say rear view mirrors, side mirrors. But anyway, um, so I have that going on and I'm showing up for me. I'm putting in the work for me. I'm showing up for my peoples, my loyal subbies that love to talk about fragrances, that love to um, chit chat about all different kind of body care products because I love that. And I found my people that love it too. I just know that I gotta do more. Like, even when I'm tired, even when I don't feel good, even when I could be going through any kind of emotional issues, mental issues, I still need to put my foot on the gas. And the other day, I was here on YouTube, and I seen something that popped up that said the winter arc. And I'm like, what the heck is the winter arc? And that's when you put your foot on the gas, you set your goals, and you just doing the thing. Doing the thing. So, one of my challenges for winter arc is making sure I put out a video that's why I started the series that I'm doing now and I call the series fragrance layering combos no fragrance layering combo of the day diaries but I title it the best layering the best fragrance layering combo day one day two stuff like that but anyway I'm not sure if I'm going to do it for a month and then start doing something else. If I'm going to do it for the up until the end of the year, along with putting out other content. But I can tell y'all for sure that I'm tired. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. I'm sick and tired of living paycheck to paycheck. I'm sick and tired of my bank account being on empty. I'm sick and tired Of me not being able to have a place of my own because I don't make enough money. Like, I'm just sick and tired. And when I start watching Dodash, I love her personality. She seems like a real genuine person. She's a real one. She wants everybody to win. Like, her success has just shot up out of nowhere but i know it's nothing but god like truly nobody but god 
that has done this for her. And she's told us about a lot of her experiences. And I'm just like, yes, just put out a video. Like, you never know who you're going to attract to the videos. Yes, I have my um, people, my A1 Day ones, my loyal subbies that always show up. But then there's other people, like there's billions of people that watch YouTube on a daily basis. There's billions of views that get um, 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 that get taken in, of course, from all of us that watch YouTube. Like everybody watches YouTube, whether they're watching somebody scratch danger files of their head, whether they're watching somebody kneading bread, whether they're watching somebody eating all this food, whether they're watching somebody just sitting out in nature and watching the birds fly by whether they're watching something motivational there's something on this platform for everybody and it's a lot of things on this platform for everybody and i just want my content to reach whoever it needs to reach whether it's to make them laugh to help them in any kind of way on my other channel Sharon Lynette's place all I'm doing is washing dishes you don't even see my hand I mean, you don't even see my face all you see is me washing dishes my top video over there is 25,000 over 25,000 views and I'm not even monetized yet Because I only have 333 subscribers. You gotta have a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. So, of course, I need to continue to work on that so I can um, get monetized over there. But for real, for real, I'm trying not to focus on the money, even though it's always in your mind. Once you get monetized, the money is always gonna be there in your mind. Like you're thinking, oh, well, what did I make today? Oh, well, you know. Hopefully, I'll make some money to be able to cash out this month or whatever the case may be. Especially when you're not growing as fast as you think you should grow. It's basically, you're here at this very moment for a reason. Just like I'm sitting in this car filming, talking to you guys for a reason. It's a lot of you guys that's just like me. That's living paycheck to paycheck. That has a bank account that's always on empty that's sometimes having to use afterpay and I'm not afraid to say it because I know I'm not the only one that has to use afterpay to buy groceries because instead of you um you know just dishing out a hundred dollars right then and there for your groceries you can split up a payment the only downside to that is that if you do quite quite a few um, uh, orders, then every time you get paid, you gotta boom, 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 pay out to everybody that you owe. That's the only downside. But it's great, it comes in clutch when you're not trying to pay, oh, $100, $150 a week for groceries. You can be like, okay, $25 if you, if you got a $100 bill. Anyway, it's a lot of us out here that need to get on YouTube. I'm not just talking about me because I'm over here. I'm on YouTube, but I'm just trying to be disciplined and consistent so that I can make money over here so that I can get a place. And live my life like I don't want to keep living the way I'm living Robin Peter pay Paul not being able to go wherever I want to go whenever I want to go because oh I don't have the funds for this oh no nephew you can't we can't get that at the grocery store because I don't have the funds we're gonna get food definitely but it can't be like oh you know just splurging on this and splurging on that um, when I go in the store, I'm always looking at the price. I want to be able to go in the store and just buy whatever the heck I want. Don't even look at the price. Like, just go up in there and do whatever I want because I have an abundance in my bank account 
where I don't have to worry about, oh, well, if I spend this, then I won't have enough for this. Or if I don't spend this, then I can do this. We shouldn't be living like this. I'm 40 years old. I don't work since I was 16. I have not been without a job since I've been 16. So I've been working for 24 years. That's insane to think about. I've been working for 24 straight years. And what do I have to show for it? A paid off car. Yes, I paid off my car last, no, not last month, because we're in October now. I paid it off nearing the end of August. This is the only thing that I own to my name. I want to be able to own a house. But I know I got to keep putting this work in. I got to keep showing up. I got to keep showing my face. So that I can do what I need to do. And that to know that God is going to bless me. M with more than I need. Way much more than I need. I just know that. And people want to, you know, say, well, it's not always about money. Yes, it is. Nine times out of ten, it's about money. Am I going to say money is, 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 is what makes me happy? No, I'm not going to say that. But money gets you a lot of things. I'll be able to travel more, way more. I'll be able to just go up in the store, go up in the grocery store right now. If I had the abundance of the money and get whatever I felt like getting. Not picking and choosing what I need to buy. Not buying just the great value brand because I can't afford the regular brand at the moment. It's a lot that goes into everything. I just want to be able to provide without being stressed out, without being disappointed, sad, worried. All of those things God doesn't want us to be. <laughs> he don't want us to be sad, worried, fearful, none of that. So I just want to talk to you guys. And I'm not editing this video. I'm just putting it out there. Because I don't know who this is for. Maybe it's just for me to vent. But I know I'm not the only one going through this. And I want all of us to win. I want all of us to be able to live abundantly. To not worry about how we're going to pay our bills, how we're going to feed our families, how we're going to get to work. And it's an abundance, an abundance of money out here where all these people that are on YouTube, that are on so different social medias, they're getting paid big bank. A lot of these people are getting paid big, big bank. So why isn't there enough of me? There is. There's an abundance. Like there's no cap. There's an abundance for all of us and I just feel like at this very moment this is what I need to be focused on so I'm in my winter arc season and as of today I will be writing down my goals and of course, executing them. I was at the gym this morning at 1 a.m. this morning. I'm going to be at the gym tomorrow, 1 a.m. in the morning. Sometimes I go at 1 a.m., sometimes I go at 3 a.m. And on Mondays, when I go, I go at 4 a.m. But that's one of my goals, to continue to... I just went past my car and they looking at me which I probably would look to if I went by somebody's car and they talking but anyway um that's one of my goals to continue on my fitness journey because I want to be the best version of me that I can be I want to be the healthiest person that I can be I want to be the wealthiest person that I can be it's just so much. I have so many dreams. I have so many goals. 
and I just feel like I need to <laughs> like I don't need to be I need a tunnel vision I need a tunnel vision I don't need distractions I need to just keep my eye on the prize because I know that one day I'm gonna I'm gonna get to where I need to get to and once I get there I'm hoping to bring people with me and if it's and if it's of course their time then I hope they you know come on come along with me but if it's not their time and God says huh, maybe you can't bring them with you then it is what it is I'm gonna I'm still love me but I have to do what I need to do yeah, y'all. I'm not going to hold y'all up no more. I've been talking to y'all for 26 minutes. This is a raw, uncut video of me just venting, just talking, just wanting to reach who I need to reach, even if it's just one person. I don't even know what I'm going to title this video, but I'm just going to put it out there and see what happens. I do have my glasses. <laughs> A lot, and they dirty. They dirty. <laughs> I don't even know how I'm seeing out these glasses. If my sister see me with these glasses, she's gonna be like, "Girl, give me your glasses so I can clean them." <laughs> Cause these things is fogged up. So I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna touch the glasses. They just gonna sit there. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I hope you guys um receive this receive this video how you're intended to receive this video I hope you'll have a beautiful positive productive day on purpose I love you guys for watching and I'll talk to you later peace